suggestion I got. I've been due for some Alice. I love my Alice. My Detroit boy, which is an hour away from me, Toledo. An hour north. Toledo south of Detroit. Anyhow, um, what a fantastic song. Muscle of Love. Um, this song initially threw me a little bit because the tuning is slightly flat. So, if you're tuning your guitar, just just make it off of the, you know, when it says it's in tune and you got two arrows. Just tune it slightly flat and listen to the song and, and work with it. Because, again, some of the, even the notes sounded off, sounded like they were slightly bent when, oh, it's off in tune. So that should really help you. Of course, I got my notes downloaded. Thank you again to everybody very much for um, letting the ads roll. That, that really helps. And um, so we'll go through this song. It's really not very difficult. Once you get it under your fingers, you can work it up to speed. Again, I used uh, Riff Station. You can actually detune or uptune the song. So I took it five tenths sharp. And boom, I was in tune with the song. So that's what's, a, what's great about that software. Um, all right, with that said, we'll go through all the parts, including the lead. Nothing real, real difficult. So the intro starts out with a fourth string, seventh fret. Hit it and slide it down. It's really an A note, so for sure it's that. Or you could hit the A note on the fifth string, but it doesn't sound like that big of a slide. So it'd be about the seventh fret, fourth string. And then we start in, it's kind of an octave. We're going to hit the second fret of the fifth string to the third string, fourth fret, and then hit four again, pulling off to two. And then we're going to strike four on the fourth string. So we have this. Then we come right back to that third string with a strike on two, hammer to four, pull back off to two. And then two pull offs from that fourth fret of the fourth string. Landing with your fifth uh, fret on the fifth string. So you'll need to use your pinky there. Now, I'll give you another option with that, but let me go through this up to that point. All right, so this intro one, two, three, four. All right, for a while I'm like, does he really use his pinky? And looking at live videos, they do. But it's a D note, so you're. you're Hitting four to open twice to D, you know, your, your F sharp to D, just hit the D again if it's too much to get your pinky there. So it would be like this. And then you're back into it. Okay, but I noticed for um, Speaking to what the band is doing, especially live, they're hitting that D note on the fifth string. All right, so up to this point. Now we're going to kind of come back with that first half of the lick. We'll hit two again on the fifth string, and then four on the third string, and then four again pulled off to two, landing on four on the fourth string. Then it's a D and E. Now this D, again with some of the chords in this, I noticed he definitely adds the extra A note. The A is in this, in the, in the chord, but I notice it sounds just a little bit deeper. So we're going to play 
the fifth string, fourth string open, and third string at the second fret. So a D power chord with A for sure in the bass. And then just move to an E and hit this through that third string. Alright. So all together this first measure. One, two, three, four. Then we repeat that. We'll repeat it two more times without the slide. We just go right into it. Alright, now at that point, the two guitars kind of separate. In my intro here, I kind of did both guitars, which is fine if you're playing both, or you can do one or the other. So let's talk about the rhythm first, and then I'll show you the lead. So the rhythm, we're going to go to F sharp, all right? We're going to hit that two times, a little break, and then two more times. Then we're going to go F sharp to A, and then B two times, a little pause, and two more two times. Then we're going to do a B to A, and that takes you back around. So let's go through this. This is really like half a measure of the verse, but this rhythm happens as the intro is continuing and there's a little lead guitar part. So let's go through this first half. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Then you're into the verse. All right, so the guitar underneath that is doing unison bends. We're going to be on the um, second string, second fret, and we're going to bend the third string at the third fret, or fourth fret. I'm sorry, we'll do that twice. And you want them to ring together, so push that third string up till it sounds like the second. It to ring out like that, you want it to ring together. All right, and this is another clue that you're in tune because these won't sound just quite right. All right, so we've got this, we'll do that twice. So, really, the guitar is playing that F sharp, da da, and then you're doing it, and you're just holding that unison back. And then they'll move to B, and then you do a unison bend up here at 7 and 9. 7 on the 2nd, 9 on the 3rd. You'll do one set of them. Alright, and then there's a lick. The lick is a real, just very tasty. We're going to hit 9, bend up, release to 7 on the 3rd string, landing on 9 on the 4th string. Then we come to the second string, seven, to the seven on the third with some vibrato that ends the note. Real nice lick and, and quickly played. Again, you'll see this when you're playing with this. I use Riff Station to slow it down, but um, it's a great lick and each verse at the end of it has a different lick. So we'll go over each one. All right, so we're back to verse one now. All right, we're gonna do our F total of four times. Then our F, I'm sorry, F sharp. F sharp to A, B, B to A, and then we continue, all right? At the end, the last B, You'll hear the lick, and it comes in very quickly. So it's if you got to kind of decide if you're going to play the second set of Bs or if you're going to go and set yourself up for the lead. The lead guitar will be up here at the seventh fret. So it's hitting the seventh fret of the first string, ten pulled off to seven on the second string. 
Then we go 10, pulled off to 9, pulled off to 7, and then back hitting 9, pulled off to 7 again. Landing on 9 on the 4th, and then coming right down with 9, slightly bent, and some vibrato to finish the lick. So slowly, one, two, three, four. All right, now we're into the chorus. So the chorus comes right at the end of that lick. So it's really, you come in a little shy of the beginning of the, or a little into the chorus because you're doing the lick. But the other guitar comes in with the chorus We'll go over that next. So the chorus is basically a C, D, E, and then back to G and A. Sixth root. With the fifth root C, fifth root D, fifth root E, we're going to add the sixth string to it. So this will be a G over C. Then, and, and put your finger down because you want to try and catch that third string also. And then move that up, so this will be an A over D, and then e, uh, B over E, and then to F. It gives it a real different flavor, and, and it really helped me, especially when I was playing with the song, it's like, what is different? You know, he is definitely going D, or I'm sorry, C, D, E, but, ah, add that note. So there you go, that's the chorus. So we're into verse 2. Verse 2, that uh, the lick that's different right at the end of the verse comes in like this. Alright, so what he's doing, a big hammer on and pull off from 7 to 9 on the 3rd string, landing on 9 on the 4th string, back to 7 and then 9. Then another quick 7 to 9 hammer on and pull off, then we hit nine and nine again bent slightly with vibrato. Ah. All right, here's the whole thing, slowly. One, two, three, four. All right, it's done really quickly and there is a little pad. When it's played quickly, it just really kind of gels together. And then again, we're into chorus two. This time we're going into a bridge. The bridge is basically three measures of the intro. Alright, so we do three of those. Then we're into the solo rhythm. The solo rhythm is really kind of strange. It's not following a real specific pattern. It's kind of like they hit F sharp. It's all F sharp. But it's kind of how it's played rhythm with the actual lead guitar. So it kind of reminds me of Black Sabbath's Children of the Grave. <laughs> But anyhow, it starts out F sharp, and the, the, rhythm, or the lead guitar is coming in, and then they start that rhythm, kind of a one e and a two e and a three four, one e and a two e and a three four. It's the best I can describe it. It's just something you'll have to play with, and then you'll repeat that till the end of the solo. So post-solo, they go into this bass walk-up, basically, that's going to end up outlining an E chord, all right? So it'll sound like this. All right, so, very repeating pattern, okay? And this really leads to the outro. Um, after chorus and verse, but the outro is very similar. We're going to play that on the fifth string and the sixth string. So we'll talk about that when we get to it. But what we're doing is a fifth string, third fret, use your middle finger so you can grab on the fourth string, two 
and then three, and then five. Repeat that, moving it up a step. So this will be five and four, up to seven. Then we come up to seven, and six, seven, and then eight. At that point, we're going to move to the third string. I kind of like to use my first finger because I can lay down for the rest. We're going to catch the third string at 7 to 9, and then the second string at 9, and the first string at 7. All right. So, so we're outlining, you know, if you played a proper E chord, you would be doing those notes. All right, so that is post solo. Right after that, they're back into verse three. Okay, that repeats again. And then we have one last lick. All right, that last lick slid into nine on the third string, catching eight, and then hitting 10, slid up to 12. Right below it, that 8, 10, 12 is on the second string. Right below it, we're going to catch 10 where we land, and 12 on the um, first string with some vibrato and bend. All right, so that's the very last little guitar lick you'll hear. Um, we've got another chord. of this third chorus they go to a B and it's four counts <laughs> then you hear a pick slide and they start the outro so the first uh, one two three four I'm sorry one two three four the first five measures will be the first half will be what we learned with the walk up from three <laughs> Then we're going to just move it up a string, so we'll be at 6th string, 3rd fret, to 5th string at 2nd fret, 3rd and 5. Move that up a step. Again a step, so we'll be here at 7. going to do a very similar move on the four string we'll hit seven to nine but then we change it because we're outlining a B sixth chord all right so so we go fourth string seven to nine third string at eight and then second string at seven so let's do that last one together at a medium speed. One, two, three, four. And then it repeats. All right, so that's one measure. You got four more measures of that. All right. The actual uh, last half measure will start out on the fifth string all the way up. Alright, when we get to the sixth string, we're going to go up through the fifth string, or fifth fret. Right when we hit seven, we're going to come up and hit five and, um, I'm sorry, yeah, seven and nine for a B chord down and slide down, okay? At that point, this all happens pretty quick. We're gonna go into part of the intro. All right, so we've gone into basically till we hit that D note. At that point, we're going to leave with fifth string two to open and then sixth string two to open. D 
D and E, just like we would do. And then end on a B. Twice. All right, so. It's quick, guys. Now, we'll go over the solo next, and you'll have the whole song. So the solo is pretty much all here at the second fret. Um, it's just kind of this repeating motif that they do in the first measure. So I'll play part of the first measure and then we'll go over it. <laughs> playing four bent on the third string with some vibrato and he holds that for about a half measure then he starts out with three hits on the two before hitting four and then four bent now the next couple will be just striking the second fret twice then the two and four ah. The actual fourth one will strike two and then hit four, pulled off to two, landing on four on the fourth. Then we come back to two. Then we start again with a couple of twos to fours and again a couple of twos to fours. Alright, one more of those, but the bend. We're going to hit two and then another quick four bend, and this time taking off on the second fret of the second string to the second fret of the first string. Then we do a pull off from five to two, landing back on five with a strike, and then five bent. Now we're going to kind of do that same motif on the second string. That we'll hit the second fret twice to five and then five bent. We'll do that twice. Then we hit two, five, pulled off to two, back to four on the fourth string, landing on two for the second measure. Alright, so let's go through that second measure again. One, two, three, four. Alright, the last part of the lick, a little bit of Chuck Berry again, we're going to hit two, four bent up, catching two on the second and first string. Five pulled off to two, landing on five on the third. Come back to two on the second, and then five pulled off to two, back to five, back to two. All right, so what we have so far is this. Then we go to four, and we're going to pull off a third string, fourth fret to two, landing on four on the fourth string, back to two on the third, four on the fourth. End with a two and then a four bent and vibrato. So the last measure slowly one, two, three, four. That's a solo. So it's just well played, a great motif going on there. A matter of really kind of slowing it down getting it in your head and then building up speed with it so that's the whole song I really enjoyed this thank you for the suggestion I'm sorry I forgot who did it I looked through my notes it's been so long ago but um, I don't mind suggestions it's not that I will always do the song because I have to really like the song otherwise it's work so um, I hope you guys enjoyed that